Aren't you interested in learning breakthrough wealth building strategies, such as how to flip a home in less than two weeks using other people's money with no real estate license, or how to build a low cost home based business? You can discover how to take passive income from any source and invest it into real estate, stocks, or business to become financially independent investing in any market with Residual Roads Business Institute. Collaborate with Andre and other Residual Roads advisors to create a free action plan and start implementing strategies today. Go to www.residualroads.com or email info at residualroads.com. Welcome to the Investing Uncensored podcast. You've been searching for different ways to become financially independent or generate passive income to live out your life's purpose as you've seen others do it, but need insight on how. Well, get excited because here you'll discover the tips and resources to fulfill that need. Andre Stewart has spent more than a decade successfully making it happen for himself and others. This is the Investing Uncensored podcast. And now here's your host, Andre Stewart. Welcome to another episode of Investing Uncensored. I'm your host, Andre Stewart. It's been a while since I've done a podcast. We've had a lot of guests. I think I mentioned that before. And so those episodes have been starting to funnel in and then just kind of been busy doing a couple of different things. But today, the main thing I want to address is how you guys can or give you guys an opportunity to invest like an angel investor or a venture capital company to get high returns. So we're going to touch on that for the most part. And then I'm going to dive into what I see going on in the real estate market because the things that I mentioned to you guys a couple months back are starting to take shape and uh, they're going to just, you know, steamroll a little bit more as we get into the summer. I would say July, August, we'll see the real estate market start to look like what I've been telling you guys. So first we're going to dive into the low barrier to entry for people to invest like a angel investor or, or VC. You know what I mean? So if you guys don't know, people that are angel investors or VCs are typically accredited investors. An accredited investor is a person, or let's say this by definition of the SEC, is a person that makes $200,000 a year. For a family, it's $300,000 a year. And you have to have over $1 million in assets. And that doesn't include your personal residence. So I would say 90% of the population doesn't fall into that category. And the thing about that, When you are an accredited investor, you get access to so many different opportunities that the regular people don't get. And that's why these people are able to generate so much wealth because they get access to opportunities at a fraction of the cost before the general public does. I'll give you an example. If you take a company that's on the stock market, it has to IPO at some point in time. So people are allowed to, I don't want to say people. Let me say accredited investors are allowed to buy these stocks before they even IPO. So when you're able to buy at this stage, you're getting them for like 70 cent a share. You know what I mean? So the, the valuation of these companies could be 100, 200, 300 million, sometimes even a billion dollars. And because you're an accredited investor, you're getting them at 70 cent or less than that sometimes. And so then when it IPOs, it could IPO at 10 or 11 or 25 or you've seen companies that IPO at, at 100 bucks. So imagine if you were an accredited investor and you were able to get these shares, let's say you get a thousand shares at 70 cents and then it goes to 15 or 20 or IPOs at 100 bucks. You just basically a thousand extra money, 10,000 extra money, you know what I mean? Being able to buy in those positions. And that's one of the advantages that people who are accredited investors get to be able to access. And not only that, they also have access in the same aspect when it comes to real estate because they're probably connected with a family office or associated with some kind of fund that allows them to get in on properties before they hit the market. That's one of the great benefits of InvestFar in that aspect because we get properties that are off market. And so by the time a property hits the MLS, it's already retail, you don't really get a good deal on it. We get properties that are off market and there's still a lot of potential for anyone buying those properties to be able to take advantage of the equity before it is retail. And a lot of times if you look at properties that are already on the MLS that are sitting there, it's because nobody, nobody wants to buy them. And so they could be a bad property. So a lot of times when you are an accredited investor or you have a platform like InvestFar, you'll get properties like this. So for example, I got a property that was off market. I got it for $162,000. But the after repair value is 300 and about 15,000. So between 315 and 358. 
and I got it for one hundred and sixty-two thousand dollars. So that's a great deal. But had that property gone retail, I think the price for it when it was retail because I did see it, it was around two hundred and eighty thousand dollars, and it still needed work. So the fact that I was able to get it off market for one sixty-two. I mean, that's a great deal. So when you're an accredited investors, you have access to that on the stock market side. And so when it comes to real estate, that's a little bit easier to access because you have wholesalers, it can be a relationship with people that are real estate investment clubs and things like that. So it's just not as exclusive as it is when it comes to stocks. But InvestFar does a good job at bringing those properties to the market if you don't have access to a wholesaler or if you don't know anybody, if you don't feel like going to meetup groups and networking with people. That's one of the great reasons with InvestFar. And that's kind of why I created it because I had access to so many properties because I've worked at the bank and I have a relationship with asset managers and real estate agents because I started flipping properties myself. And so when you start connecting with multiple agents in multiple markets, they also have wholesalers that send them properties that they want to unload because they know that the agent has buyers. And so because I have been doing this for so long, I now have a large base of people that send me properties that they're trying to unload. And my asset managers have grown to where now I'm nationwide with getting properties and even international. So that's one of the beauties of InvestFar is very exclusive, just like it would be when it comes to getting stocks as an accredited investor. We kind of bring that same exclusivity, but in real estate. So back to my point, when it comes to being able to take advantage of things like an angel investor or a VC to get high returns, due to the Jobs Act in 2012, oh, you guys should thank Obama for this as well. But due to the Jobs Act and Title III in 2016, companies are not allowed to let regular people who are not accredited investors get access to those same stocks that they would before the IPO like accredited investors did. The catch, though, is that there's only a one to three month window of time where a company can allow this availability to regular people. And it's typically only friends and families and other people that are in that company's community. So, for example, if you were a client of that company and they sent you an email or they notified you of the opportunity, there's only a certain amount of positions available. So if you get the invite from a company and they send it out because you're one of their customers or family member or something like that, it will be in your best interest to take advantage of it because it's only a small window. A lot of times it's usually only a month. There are some companies that are allowed to go up to three or four months, but you have to get a SEC approval and it's a process. So sometimes, depending on the company, you might be able to catch it. If say you missed that first month, you might be able to catch it if they do go four months. But they're only allowed to do this. And so you can only do it once within a 12 month period. And so most of the time that once a person sells the shares or allows those people to come in, accredited investors or regular investors, they generally go public within a year or two years after that process. And if they want to do one more community round with family and friends, again, to allow access, they will only have a small window of time to do it the following year. But most of the time, People generally want to go public or sell the company through a merger and acquisition. So, for example, I know most of you guys know Oculus. Oculus did something similar. They came out in 2014, but then in 2016, they were bought by Facebook for $2 billion. So in 2014, they came out with the product and they did a community round. But then by two years after that, they were bought by Facebook for $2 billion. So if you didn't get into that community round when they first did it, you missed your opportunity. So you don't necessarily want to wait for a company. If they email you or reach out to you, you allow you the option to be able to do this because there's not necessarily a high likelihood that you'll be able to do it the following year because there's no guarantee, especially if you don't work in the company, you'll never know. So the crazy part about all of what I'm saying is that it was literally illegal for you to be able to buy stock. So say, for instance, you knew someone who was an accredited investor and they tried to sell you their shares, you know, of just to say Uber. It would be illegal if you didn't fit that criteria to be able to buy those stocks, which is mind blowing. And it's actually unfair if you think about it, because opportunities should be for everybody. 
So just because a person doesn't make two hundred and fifty thousand a year, three hundred thousand dollars a year, and have a million dollars liquid or something like that, it's wrong, right? So if someone say they had ten grand in the bank and they saved up their money and they did their research and they was like, you know what, this is a great company and has potential, I want to go ahead and dump my five thousand dollars in here so I can ten x or a thousand x or ten thousand x my money, just because they work at like you know, let's just say Family Dollar or something like that. That shouldn't disqualify them for being able to access something like that. So I think it's great that Obama did pass the Jobs Act to allow regular people to also be able to take advantage of these because that's where the real wealth transfer happens. Because if you think if you had a chance to buy into like Uber or just use Oculus, what if you had $10,000 or $5,000 that you could drop into Oculus back in 014 and it went 1,000x or went 10,000x? You would be a billionaire, right? Maybe not a billionaire, but you would definitely be a multimillionaire. So that would be life changing for someone to have an opportunity like that. Like opportunities like that only come in a once in a lifetime. And that's for some people who are in the know who are educated about that. I mean, but for the majority of the 90 or 95 percent of the population, they're not even knowing about this. They don't even have access to it. And you can even get into IPOs. IPOs are still a great way for you to be able to get in a company and make a lot of money. IPOs are easy to get into. I mean, you can look those up, but to be in the pre-IPO is where it is. And so that's where you really make money because if you hop in the IPO and say it said like 10 or 15 bucks, and then it does shoot up to 50 or 60, you made a lot of money. But what if you could get in there for 70 cents and it shoots up to 50 or $60. You made way more money and that's where the wealth transfer takes place. So I'm happy that they did pass the Jobs Act allowing people to be able to do this. Because honestly, there's no way to get returns like this with any other asset in the beginning of a process, especially within a shorter window of time. So I gave you guys the house that I bought for $162,000 that's going to be worth three, you know, 315 or 320. I'm going to do that. That process took about three months, three and a half months. You know, we're going to list that property for sale next week. So I, overall, it's probably going to take about four and a half months to go from, you know, take that 162 and turn it into like three hundred and you know twenty five thousand dollars. That's a great time timeline for something like that. But it's still not a ten thousand X return or even a thousand X return. So that's why I say you want to be able to find opportunities that give you a low barrier to entry to get high returns like Angel or VC. And the great thing about it, when you have opportunities like this, I know you're thinking, oh, it's probably gonna be expensive to be able to get in there and buy a bunch of shares. No, there's actually no minimum. Well, there is a minimum, but the minimum is like, sometimes it's a hundred bucks. It could be 250 or $300, but within that $100 or that 250 bucks, you might get 300 shares or, or 500 shares. You know, based on say it comes out at 70 cent or the opportunity that goes out to the people in that community, it could be 70 cents. So you do the math on something like that. And so let's say you put up three hundred dollars and it is 70 cent. You would get about four hundred and twenty shares. Four hundred and twenty shares at, let's say, fifteen dollars. That's sixty three hundred bucks. So if you get sixty three hundred bucks off of putting up three hundred dollars. And that's low balling uh, IPO coming out at $15. So just imagine if it comes out at $30 or $40. You do the math on that. And you can see how someone can thousand X their money, right? That just shows you how easy that is. So, I mean, if you do that for 20 at like 30 bucks, that's probably like $12,000. You know what I mean? And you only put up $300. I know most people have to have $300 in the bank or they have it on the credit card or something like that. So that's a good opportunity for someone who does not have a lot of money to come up really fast. So, you know, even if it's a minimum of a hundred bucks and you have 70 shares and it goes to 15, you just made a thousand fifty dollars. I know everyone should be able to get access to a hundred bucks. You know what I mean? The, obviously the hope is that if you did get an opportunity like that, you would put up more than a hundred dollars or you would put up more than a minimum because you see the potential. Obviously, there's always risk associated. I'm not sitting here saying that this is a surefire way. It's 100% proof. 
any investment, there's risk. But if you look at the company and you, and you analyze it, and you see the potential in it, then there's really not a lot of risk associated with it. But the great thing about it, I will remove another layer of risk with some people thinking like, okay, well, what if I put my money in there and I need it before the company IPOs? You can trade those shares in the open market as well. So it's not like you're stuck in them. There's a there's a there's a platform out there that will allow you to trade these shares once you purchase them if you needed to get your money out before it IPO'd. So that should also help you, you know, with your thought process on being able to mitigate risk. Or if you need money in, in an emergency, you could sell these on a secondary market on a platform similar to like a Robin Hood, which again, this is exclusive and it's for people in the know. So I know you're probably wondering, how do I find opportunities like this? Well, guess what? You're part of the InvestFar community if you're listening to this podcast, because obviously I'm the founder and CEO of InvestFar. Ever wished you had the opportunity to buy a stock like Facebook, Amazon, or Netflix before it went public or was able to get shares in companies like VC firms and angel investors? Well, here's your chance. Go to investfar.com forward slash invest and reserve a position. For the next one to three months, InvestFAR is allowed a limited number of low-cost shares be available for friends, family, and its community per SEC regulations before it goes public. Imagine being able to 1,000x or 10,000x your investment, like the top 5%. With exclusive opportunities such as this, positions are limited and the window of time is short. Don't miss your chance. That's I-N-V, as in Victor, E-S-T-F-A-R dot com forward slash invest. With that being said, considering we're about to go public, I am allowed to do exactly what I just mentioned five minutes ago. So you have the opportunity to take advantage of something that may only happen maybe one in five times throughout your entire lifetime. You have the opportunity because there's the positions are only limited. There's only a certain amount of shares that we're allowed to give away. And so I'm only going to run this probably for two months max. But what I'm doing right now, if you go to investfar.com backslash invest, you are allowed to put your information in there. And so when they open up, if you go in and reserve your position right now, once we open up, you're going to get an email before anyone else does that will allow you to purchase the shares. You're going to get this email for the first month. After the first month, the second month is going to be opened up to a different group of people. So if you go to investfar, I-N-V is in Victor, E-S-T, F-A-R dot com backslash invest, you can enter your name, email for sure and phone number, and then you're going to get an email with next steps to take advantage of this opportunity. Once again, the window of time for us is so small. So obviously, if you listen to this podcast, you're listening to it at the right time. Hopefully, it comes out and you hear this and you were able to take advantage of the opportunity. So I'm not out here broadcasting it. I'm not doing any kind of promotional campaign or anything like that. So I can't do that. I'm doing this podcast. If you listen to it, if you heard it, during that time frame, good for you if you took advantage of it. If you didn't, I'm sorry. Once the company goes public, you will be able to buy shares that way. But this is me giving back to the people that have listened, that have been part of my community for the last three years. And if you are a customer or a member of InvestFAR, then this is even better for you because you're using a product. So this is me being able to, this whole entire podcast is about helping people generate income and build wealth and make money. So it would be crazy, in my opinion, if I didn't allow this opportunity for the people that were listening, because this is my whole purpose in life is to help people, you know, bridge the gap of inequality and give people opportunities that they don't get otherwise. So I hope that people did get to hear this podcast and they were able to take advantage of it. If you're listening to it within this window of time, Obviously, you go to the website and you'll see that it's still up and you can take advantage of it. If it's down, that means you missed the window of opportunity. If you have some people that are in your circle that are interested in investing, you can pass them that link as well and have them take advantage of the opportunity because obviously they know you and maybe you can get them to better their situation. And from that, maybe they'll also become a listener of the podcast as well because 
I try to drop a lot of information in jewels, but I think this by far is one of the best things that I could do for the people that are in my community. In addition to me writing Epitome of the Mind in the Real Estate Investing Diet, I think this low barrier to entry for someone to take advantage of a life changing opportunity, it's a little bit easier, right, than having to pick up a book and read or sit through, you know, hundreds of podcasts. So, guys, if you can, Take advantage of the opportunity, put your information in there, reserve your spot so that you can, you know, get the email about the next step when the time comes. So that process is probably going to start in the next month or two months. So now will be the time for you to be able to make sure that you don't miss the opportunity. Real quick, I want to touch on the real estate market. Obviously, the Invest for Real Estate app is an investing app. And we know what's going on in the economy. We know that the commercial real estate market is melting down very bad because there's somewhat around, like I think, $2 trillion worth of outstanding debt in the commercial real estate market that is coming due at the end of this year or the beginning of next year, maybe both kind of kind of in the middle. And so that is going to be a problem because of the remote work situation. So it's going to start in the commercial real estate market. And for people that don't know anything about Investfar, once you go to that link, you'll be able to read on everything that we're doing. You'll be able to see our revenue model. You'll be able to see all those things. And it breaks that down. Our expansion plans at the very bottom of the page. So our expansion plans is to get into commercial real estate at some point in time because the barrier to entry is becoming lower and lower. And so for us, that's when we want to step in. And so that'll probably be in 2024. Or later, later in 2024, when there's way more buying opportunities for that. But that's also going to cause a chain reaction into the residential real estate market. So for us, we're still buying properties, right? I just said it. But we're buying in very specific markets because some markets are still appreciating. Matter of fact, the same area that I bought this property in that I just mentioned, it's already up, I think, 1.2% in the last month. It's already increased $4,000. So there's still markets that we're very strategic on buying properties in and that we're putting on the app because those markets are still generating, you know, increasing in value, I would say. So you can still generate money from those properties. But there are other markets where the economy is going to start hitting hard. So even in the Augusta market that we're in right now in in some of the Florida markets, it's going to start to turn around in those markets as well. But any economic cycle, as long as you find properties that are kind of like what I mentioned. If you find a property that's worth three hundred and fifty thousand dollars or three twenty, and you get it for one sixty two, you can still sell it in a market like this. Even if I wanted to sell the house for two hundred and forty thousand dollars, I'm taking a about a hundred thousand dollar haircut, but at the same time, I'm still making maybe like forty or fifty grand. So it doesn't mean that you can't buy real estate if there is a decline. You just got to know what you're doing, and so that's the beauty of the Invest for our Real Estate platform. If you guys don't have the app, you should go download it because on the app, there's so many different features that will allow you to invest remotely, whether it be here, whether it be in Colombia, my favorite, one of my favorite countries, or whether it just be somewhere that you don't live. We have advisory services on there. We have mortgage calculators. We have so many different tools that people just aren't aware of. And if you're trying to invest in real estate and you can't do it in your local market, this app is designed for that. It does Every single thing you can think of from inspection reports, from mobile notaries, if you need to get someone evicted, from the maintenance that does the entire thing. It has video calling, chat features. It has so much stuff. It's very robust. So you guys need to get prepared. And one of the best things to do is download that app, be prepared, and get the real estate investing guide. I got to reference it again because following real estate, which is the economy. So if you follow what real estate does, that's going to be your main indicator on how the economy is going to play out because money gets put in the system through lending and majority of the money that gets lent out is through mortgages or business loans and sometimes credit cards. But mortgage is the number one thing. So if the housing market goes, so does the economy. So with us having this commercial mortgage collapse coming or in the process, it's going to trickle down, like I just said. So you guys need to be in the opportunity, but you guys need to be in a situation to take advantage of the opportunity. So we're trying to make it easy for you guys to be able to do this. I, I flipped over 25, 30 properties in the last two and a half years 
And I've never seen any of them except for the one flip that I did in Las Vegas. I flew over there because it was only a, you know, a couple hour flight from me in, in Los Angeles. But the rest of them I did remote. I'm not the only person that does this. Obviously, there's more people, but I just streamlined the process. And one of the cool things about the InvestFar app is that we have a stories feature, kind of like you see on Instagram. So we're basically making real estate a social thing. A lot of times people have this misconception that real estate is only for the rich people or you got to be clipped up or you got. No, we're trying to make real estate a social thing because we're trying to, I guess, reframe people's thought process on you have to be a multimillionaire or you have to be rich or you have to know this person to get into real estate investing. And that's not the case. I got to my first million dollars in real estate without using any of my own money. So if you picked up the real estate investing guide, I'll talk about that in there. And if you know anything about my bio, I'll talk about that in there as well. So I'm trying to give you guys like, <laughs> I'm trying to hit it from all angles. I'm giving you books. Now I'm giving you equity within my company ahead of time, trying to give you guys the opportunities that the wealthy have. And I'm also giving you a mobile app that will allow you to do these same things and take the pressure off you guys. So if this is something that you're really interested in, which you got to be if you listen to this podcast, I'm doing everything that I can to make you guys successful. So that's you know pretty much all I can do. But guys, once again, take advantage of the opportunity before it's gone. I'm only going to do it once and it's only going to be this year. I may possibly do it one more time in 2024, right before we IPO, but it's definitely not going to be at the cost of what you're going to be able to get it for right now. If you go on there and reserve your spot. So again, investfar.com backslash invest. Take a look at that. Pick up the real estate investing guide. I also think you guys should pick up the epitome of the mind. I would probably read that book first and then get the real estate investing guide and then tackle the app. And then you kind of have everything all in one. And tell your friends, send this podcast to your friends, have them listen to it. And keep your eyes open for July and August, because that's when I think you will start to see more of the things that I've mentioned on previous podcasts really start to take shape in the economy. You're still seeing layoffs. They're not stopping. But the jobs report is a lagging indicator. It's actually the unemployment report is like one of the last indicators. And I always tell you guys, by the time you feel the recession, it's on your front door. And that's when it's too late. So stay ready so you don't have to get ready and be on the lookout for what's going to come in the middle of the year, August for sure. But by the end of the year, it's going to be exactly what I've been telling you guys for the past seven or eight months. So again, guys, be prepared, stack your money and be able to take advantage of the opportunity that I just gave you. The ones that are coming, being able to have funds available to buy other things like gold, precious metals, things like that. All right, guys, take care and I'll see you in the next episode. Aren't you ready to start a business or grow your real estate investing portfolio? If you answered yes, allow Andre and the expert advisors at the Residual Roads Business Institute to fast track and put you on a path to full-time investing. The greatest transfer of wealth in our lifetime is occurring over the next few years, and you can take advantage if you know what to look for. In order to be successful at real estate investing, you need to learn how to leverage your current resources to generate quick money, big money, and retirement money. Let Residual Roads Advisors craft a plan to get you through these phases using little or no money in six months or less. Don't wait for a job. Create one for yourself and others. Go to residualroads.com for mentorship and for our free course, go to residualroads.thinkific.com.